talk more about the prison labor camps? Because recently, much of the American public finally saw exactly what is transpiring in that province where you hail from. And uh, we're very shocked by just the kind of Nazi-like, Soviet, gulag-like atmosphere that was there. So could you shed light about that and why the Chinese government was concealing that information for so long? Two to three million Uyghur population are locked up in concentration camps in China, including my father, who's now serving life sentence. I've been working on a documentary film since 2019. And I, I reached out to many um, camp survivors, um, people, uh, family members of uh, former detainees or current detainees. I was able to interview most of them. The stories I heard, I, I, don't, I don't know what is the best word to describe it. Sometimes it comes to my dream and sometimes in my dream, it is happening to me and makes me sh uh, wake up in tears and cold sweats. It is so horrifying. And the only thing that relates me to those stories that I heard were the Nazi German camps. I have seen documentaries about the German camps before, the Nazi German camps before. And all those images deeply resemble the stories that I heard from those former detainees or camp survivors or those family members. Hearing the, their words, seeing their tears make tear my heart apart. And what, what, what kind of things are happening in those camps? According to the testimonies, the um, younger female detainees are often raped. Sometimes it could be gang raped. Most of, most of the female detainees and male detainees, their heads are force, forcefully shaved. Maybe you have read the news recently, the US Customs Border had confiscated over 80 tons of hair uh, wigs at, at, at the border. And they were all shipped from, from China. And, were, and I believe those hair that, were, that was confiscated by the US Customs, maybe some of them are my family relatives hair maybe it's my cousin who is currently serving a 10 year sentence in china just for having a photo and an article of my father in her phone maybe it's my friend's fa father or mother but i'm sure we're all linked to one of those people maybe one of the person you know their hair is one of, in one of those packages. What else is happening there? According to all the testimonies from all the detainees that I have interviewed, they have all experienced electric shocks and they got constantly investigated, um, uh, uh, interrogated and uh, bitten by, by the, by the, um, security guards in those prison or detention center. Some of the female detainees are sterilized and they can, cannot have children anymore. Some of them are forced to uh, inject unknown medicines to their body. And until now, we don't know what those medicines are for. We don't know what they're injecting them. I just hope people can imagine Take a minute just to imagine not all of those things above, just one of those things above that I mentioned happening to you or your family. What would that make you feel? Can you accept it? The reason that I'm giving up my normal life, being a girl in her 20s, just to, I wish I could be like other girls who can shop around with her friends, travel around with her friends, doesn't have to worry about anything. I wish to live like that too, but I can't because so many people I know, my families, my friends, my rel relatives, they are suffering. And it could be your family too. And I really hope this to end. That's why I am speaking to you today. I'm speaking to everyone every single day, 
I'm trying my best to get the word out, to raise awareness. So somebody who is listening could do something about it. And somebody who is listening could make a change. My purpose, my goal is so simple. I don't want to cause any problems. All I want to do is just like what my father wanted, to solve problems. And we want to fix this because this is a problem, this is a huge issue. If we don't fix it now, it will lead to a bigger problem. And, and that is not good. We all just want simple happiness for our families, for our friends, and I hope the same to you too. Whoever is listening, I hope if you have the strength, if you have the power, if you have the ability, please do help. Please, a lot of people are underestimating their ability to help the cause. A lot of people ask me, what can we do to help? I feel so powerless. I don't work in the government. I don't have money. I don't know what to do. I don't think my power, power will count anything. But this is wrong. This thought is wrong. You are so powerful, every single of you. Why? The reason the governments are trying to shut up, shut up everyone's words is because they know how powerful people's words can be. The reason the government is not allow the Chinese government is not allowing people have access to the to those uh, uh, international media outlets is because they know how powerful truth can be. And you have the you have access to those. You have access to free expression. You have access to free media, free information. It's all provided for you. And you, if you if you want, you can take advantages of those those uh, those those um, uh, opportunities just by telling one friend of yours and get the word out. Tell them what is happening to the Uyghur people, to the girl who is listening, who you are listening to right now. What is happening? Just tell them. Every every one of you, every one of you, if you if you are able to tell one person, but those person, if they try to get the words out, then there will be more people are aware of the issue. And this is what we want. We need the world's attention. This is a time for people to be united and 